Hello, I'm Luke Neller and welcome to Best Few Plays of the Week. In this episode we have a Spapanzer doing what is needed, a Leopard dishing out damage and a Skoda T50 fighting to the last ship. Enjoy! Let's mix things up a little by starting with an invader game for a change. This one comes from the European region where Templar Killer heads out to Serene Coast with an easy 8. Here we go! The fancily painted Cobra King zooms north along the western edge of the map, opening the fight with a nice slow shot, holding multiple opponents at bay supported only by a small but spirited Lux. Templar Killer keeps up the pressure, piling on the damage until the first personal kill is achieved. The team is lagging behind, but it's nothing too serious, especially with a second victim on offer right here. Sweet jeebus! That sure could have gone better! But at least there's a little bonus to be had here. With the team now in the lead, Templar Killer goes back to dealing damage from relative safety. As the slim lead melts away, it could be time to silence the red team's artillery. This engagement isn't the smoothest work ever, but the job gets done. A look at the map confirms the invader's hunch. Capturing the base is how you win this. Remaining teammates keep the reds occupied, while the progress bar creeps across the screen. The opposing team would need a reset, but they don't have anything fast enough. Checkmate. Not a particularly dramatic capture there, but it did steal victory from the jaws of defeat. Templar Killer played a fine game anyway, as we can see from the statistics. Let's follow that up with a game where damage is king. This episode's confederate is Ikote CBG, who fights at Muravanka with a Leopard Prototype A. The Leo is a very fast machine, as well as an accurate and stealthy sniper. This comes at the cost of paper-thin armor, a large profile, and rather bad gun handling when on the move. Ikote fights with a bold style, but the tank bleeds hit points at an unsustainable rate. If that had been a hit, it would be all over. You've got to admire the courage displayed here, but is this suicidal bravery? Hey, look at that! Natural bounce! The Leo has one more advantage. It has a solid 8 degrees of gun depression, which is great in the right terrain. Let's see that trick again. The hit point buffer is gone, but the Leo is now in its element. A steady barrage of sniper style shots devastate the red forces, securing another kill before long. The next attempt misses, but that's a rare exception. This rival tier 9 is in good repair, unlike Ikote's chariot, which is one hit from the scrapyard. Nevertheless, the autoloader gets beaten like a piñata, filled with silver and experience points. The SPG's final attempt doesn't come anywhere close. Ikote has a good idea about its location, but a teammate is slightly faster on the trigger. Nice work there, Confederate. An impressive 8,000 points of damage with assistance on top. I guess armor would have just slowed you down, Akote. Our next replay is a crucial contribution delivered with a Spapanzer RU251. Commander Teyef plays on the EU servers, seen here in a tier 9 assault on Nuremberg. The Spapanzer tears up the western flank with blistering speed, getting into position just before nothing happens. Shots do get fired eventually, but this is not the place for a scout. The first bit of action is short but satisfying, bringing in a nice chunk of assistance points. Teaf removes some health from a Type 61, slamming an HE round through its rice paper armor on the second shot. Heads up, Fosh. And no, Teaf hasn't forgotten about you, Type. One more HE shell should do the trick. The western flank has been swept clean, so Teaf crosses over to fresher hunting grounds. Taking on the Chinese light turns out to be bad for the gunner's health, but it's nothing a med kit wouldn't fix. With a heat round ready in the chamber, finishing off the Oni is almost an afterthought. There are still three tier 9 machines on the defending side, and the assault seems to be stalling. 
Teof locates a Conway, assaulting without a moment's hesitation. Attacking this heavily armed and fully operational battle wagon is a dangerous task, and one that could prove fatal. As the battle is getting desperate, the opponent appears to lose focus. It's a fatal mistake. That victory came at a cost though. With just 59 hit points, there's no more room for error. Teof attempts a couple of blind shots before finishing off a Yaktiga with a successful one. The SPG seems unaware of its peril, or it could be trying to squeeze off one last shot. Is the second one nearby as well? Yep. And as luck would have it, Teof still has a pair of HE shells to send it on its way. What a fine display! Teof roamed all over the map, doing whatever was needed. With 8 kills and the most damage on the team, we couldn't ask for more. Next up, Top Gun. This episode's Master of Mayhem is Guan Gibo Ni from the Asian server. Guan brings a VK 3001P over the swamp, punching out anyone who even looks at the tank in a funny way. This member of the VK family is quite nippy, and the short barreled 88 gives it a nice punch. But even though it looks like a scaled down tiger, it's still a medium tank, and not a particularly well protected one at that. This gun isn't perfect for long range sniping, but Guan seems to do alright. Hmm, it looks like the team is already starting to melt away. The VK goes looking for a pair of tank destroyers, but gets interrupted by a leopard. An old and toothless one, apparently. Those TDs are still here. They should have run when they had the chance. Next one to fall is a German toaster. And then a Hetz. Okay, apparently not. It looks like the season for TD hunting is over. Oh well, a heavy tank is a more prestigious game anyway. Who should get the honor of becoming the top gun kill? Perhaps one of the cappers. And we have a winner! Congratulations! The other two cappers follow it into Valhalla as well, or possibly just to the garage. Arrival 3001 pounces. It puts up a good fight, but there can be only one. Yikes, that was way too close. A pair of EOCs is having a dogfight some 300 meters away. Firing into the melee risks friendly fire, but that won't stop Guan from claiming a 10th kill. One last SPG is still out there. Will it become number 11? Apparently not, as the coward would rather drown than fight to the end. Not cool. A fine display from a tank more suited for support than frontline heroics. I guess the rampage got too intense and intimidating for the arty player in the end though. Congratulations Guan Gi Bo Ni. And now, the episode finale! This time it's a defender game where Suka Mermeli from the EU region leaves it all on the field. That field in question, Erlenburg, where Mermeli's Skoda T50 sits on a middle tier. Our defender fires off a couple of warning shots before getting serious about hunting the opposition. Warming up to the fight, Mermeli fires shot after shot from the castle courtyard. As the fight moves outside the walls, the Skoda ends up squaring off against a battle barge. The KV-4 puts up a good fight, but in the end, our champion carries the day. One more shot finishes the cleanup. The western flank seems clear. There's still a round in the breach, but it doesn't hit the mark. Luckily, a Skoda reloads quickly. Here comes the first defender moment. Boom! The rest of the clip is enough to secure another kill. After another reload, Three shells hammer into an object 268. The next few rounds drive it into hiding. The melee needs to find another target. It looks like some reds are pushing towards the circle. We'll just see about that. The invaders are moving slowly, so there's still time to assist the teammates with a T95. A two person capture moves quickly, but so does the defender. A pair of shots is enough for a full reset, leaving one spare for added emphasis. There's an opportunity to finish off the object. But a missed shot leaves it hanging on with 13 hit points. Mameli pumps the next magazine into the capturing E100, but this time it comes at a cost. The ammo situation is getting critical as well, with just four shells against four opponents. The E100 gives up on the capture, which means the Skoda is free to go hunting. The first kill is quick and easy, but what about those SVGs? It's not like this is a ramming tank, especially with these hit points. Spotted, but from where? Another one bites the dust, but it takes two shots. 
The second Artie joins the capture. At least there's no need to look for it now. But what can Mameli do with just a single shell? Sadly, not much. The heat round punches through the turret, reducing the capture, but that's it. Our defender has fought to the last shell, but the game ends in heartbreak. Talk about giving it all you got, especially as Suka Mermeli expended the ammo with sniper level precision. Sometimes you play the perfect game and it's still not enough. That's all for this episode. I know we're a few patches behind, but trust me, we don't want to skip any replays. We're trying to go through them all. If you disagree, I'm sure you'll let us know in the comments below. Well, I'm Luke Nella. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.